channel. So today, as you can tell from the title, I will be talking about my customized PC case right here that I did myself. This video is actually quite long overdue because I customized it in January, but because of some problems, I couldn't finish the whole video. So three months later, here I am filming the intro and the closing so I can end this vlog. <laughs> now the reason why is because Seagate sponsored me an SSD and it was faulty. So I sent it back and they said they would send me a new one. It's March right now and they haven't got back to me and I was getting really impatient. So I ordered my own SSD. So just a disclaimer, I just want to say that I am not a professional. I'm just someone who likes to DIY my stuff. And Razer sent me their gears like two years ago. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm so speechless. I cannot. Thank you so much, Razer. It's everything that they sent me. My setup right now is actually quite red. Before this, my rig was actually black and red, so now it's total makeover. And I just want to say, the table is pretty small, so I have a really limited space to work with. Before I start out my DIY project, I just want to show you guys my little setup right here. This is not the prettiest setup because of my cable management, don't judge me. My two monitors with my mic over here, my Razer Huntsman Quartz Edition, and that is my Razer Crack and Kitty Edition uh, headset with the stand, also in pink. The mouse pad which is in grey with LED. The only thing uh, that is not pink is my mouse which I will be changing soon and also my PC case. The reason why I want to change my PC case is because it just doesn't fit like the whole aesthetic that I'm trying to achieve. As you can see there is an RGB fan at the back. So this used to be at the front here but I changed it obviously to fit my black and red theme before. But um, I actually want to reuse that fan for my case that I will be DIYing because I want that one to be at the front so that it matches the whole um, RGB scheme. Right now I'm in my car and I'm about to go out to get the spray paints. I'm not really sure where they actually sell spray paints but I think some DIY shops do so I'm just gonna try the ones nearby my house and hopefully they have the colors that I want. So I did do some research online on what kind of spray paints I should get. I honestly still really, like I really don't know. But all I know is um, that my casing is plastic and the side panel is actually metal so I have to get like spray paints that adhere to plastic and metal or if not then I have to get like two different kinds of spray paint I don't have a specific brand I, I've seen online people customize their PC case and they do have like oh parking yeah they do have like a specific brand that they use but I don't think it's necessary to use that brand as long as uh, the spray paint works on this when and like that yeah but yeah as long as the spray paint works uh, for plastic and metal I think it's fine I'm in the store right now and they have spray paints but they only have like this brand it's called Anchor I guess I'm just gonna get this one because I went to another shop and they only have this one as well but it's cheaper in this shop so um, yeah they do have like the pink that I want then I'll probably get the pale grey right there is this pink? is it Okay, got it. Feel good. Okay. This case is the case that I will be using and this is actually my brother's case. I took it because it fits the kind of aesthetic that I want and it is originally white and black. So as you can see here, my brother is pulling out all the panels so it's easier for me to spray paint them. And the top panel has wires, so I didn't want to pull it all the way, so I kept it there. So right now, we're just removing the vents and sticking on masking tape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray paint the black parts grey and the white parts pink. So yeah, I'm gonna do the grey parts first. So I'm going to stick the masking tape all over the white parts. And I'm covering the USB ports as well. Hey guys, so right now I'm at the back of my house and I'm going to start spray painting my PC case. Earlier on, you guys saw that I went to shop for these two sprays. Um, I have my floor lined up with newspapers in case things get messy. Today you should actually use um, painting tape, but I don't know what that is, so I got masking tape instead. And let's try to spray the vents first. Oh 
Okay, so this is one layer. So it is the next day and I let all my parts overnight to dry because today I will be peeling off the tape and I'm going to be spray painting pink on the top panel and the front panel. The plan for today is to get all the painting parts done and then let it dry and I'm going to upgrade my PC because I have the parts already. So let's go! The first thing I want to show is the pink side panel that I spray painted. This one I actually did like two coats. And I think it looks pretty good. So I'm not going to do anything more to this one. So for the vents, I'm actually really happy because it turned out to look really nice. And it dried really nice as well. So I'm not going to touch these. These are good. Let's get a little close up. So this is the front panel and as you can see, I peeled off all the tape already and it looks super clean like Damn, I'm really happy. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to tape over the grey and I'm going to spray paint the rest of the white pink. For the top panel, I'm a little bit scared because what I did was I taped everything over and I'm hoping that none of the paint went in because I didn't check. So let's see how I did for this. letting them dry um, but I did screw up one part though and I'm gonna show you right now uh, what I did wrong this is what happens when you want to DIY your own stuff so I'm not sure if this part I'm able to salvage it but I think maybe not but it's okay it's not too bad so let me show you I think I did a pretty good job on top and then when you look here can you see that little blob right there I think I didn't um, spray it evenly enough so this part is kind of like the paint accumulated. I'm not sure how it will look like when it's dried, but I mean, yeah, that's the only part I think I screwed up a little bit. But the other parts I think is okay. So I'm just gonna wait for them to dry. is three months later <laughs> and yeah this is my case next to everything else as you can see my table is pretty small so I have a really limited space to work with but yeah I really like how it turned out but well, I think for the most part I spray painted it really well there are a little bit of imperfections I don't know if you can tell like this part I felt like I didn't get like the paint all the way through because of the tape I think the tape was covering a little bit but that's not too bad, like I feel like it looks great still. If you guys are wondering about the imperfection, right, it's all the way at the back, so you can't really tell it. I'm not really concerned about it because it's going to be hidden all the way anyway. Here is the front panel. It looks super good. So it has like the RGB effect that goes with like the razor. Yeah, this is how it looks. And if you guys like what you see, do like, subscribe, and comment on what you guys want to see next. I hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you guys next time.